farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Okay. Man, we got something else going on here today. The prettiest ceramic looking bottle. I don't think it's really ceramic. Looks like a great bottle of scotch right there. It does, but it's not a scotch. Whiskey? It's not a whiskey. Vodka? It's not a vodka. Uh, It's clear. Tequila? No, actually it's not tequila either. What are we drinking today? I'll tell you, right (laughs) after you like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Well, you might not want to follow us on Twitter. Instagram (laughs) and Facebook. I love Twitter. Yeah, but I never post on it. We've I've never posted or on even it. read the account, but I don't even know if we have subscribers on Twitter. I I, I don't like Twitter, but you know <laughs> we might get drunk and put some up there one day. I think that's what Twitter's for is for drunk tweets. Okay, so I guess <laughs> if you want to risk it, follow us on Twitter. We may randomly put something up when we're drunk, which maybe later tonight. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It's pretty good stuff. Could I've, be. I've had this before. Could be. <laughs> we are doing a mezcal today. So uh, last week, week before, whatever it was, we had a bottle of the Don Julio. Oh, sorry, Don Julio, 1942, and that was the Anejo Tequila. Man, that was delicious. And that was quite the step into the tequila for us. And uh, now we're going to go with uh, tequila's cousin, mezcal. Mezcal. Tell so me about a mezcal. Well, if you like scotch, uh-huh. you might like mezcal. Okay. So Why scotch is, is to tequila like, I'm sorry, mezcal is to tequila like scotch is to bourbon. It's smoky. <laughs> Make me feel like I'm taking the SAT. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a smoky flavor, but uh, there's technical differences as well. So it, with our tequila, it had to be uh, 100% blue agave. Okay. Mezcal doesn't necessarily have to be 100% blue agave. It has to be 51% blue agave, and then I guess you could put orange agave in it. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's like a square rectangle. Yeah, thing. basically. So apparently, uh, all tequilas are mezcals, but not all mezcals are tequilas. Okay. I think I said that right. <laughs> so this one in particular is uh, Casamigos. Um, Casamigos Mezcal, it is from, you got to say that while ago, because uh, you listened to the word on Google. Where is it from, Lyle? <clears throat> According to Google, Oaxaca. That was right here because <laughs> isn't it's hard. It isn't spelt the it's way. hard when you live in the Ozarks and everything is pronounced with a uh, specific. Oh amount, yeah, this mountain would, twang. If we lived here, that would be yes. <laughs> Oaxaca. Oax. O a x a c a. Oaxaca. Oaxaca. I, I, I would say it'd be, it'd be. I think you deserve points for that. Yeah, I think it'd be Oaxaca. <laughs> that would be probably because we'd say it like an Indian name or something. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, okay, we won't drag that out too much longer. Um, yeah, from Mexico. This particular one is very old school. So everything that they do with this mezcal is like the way the uh, the. It's like traditional methods, right? Cavemen did it yeah. this way. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, they use it, they grind all their agave yeah. on a thing called a what? I think it's maybe a Tejano wheel, I think is maybe how you pronounce it, but it's the you know it's that big old... I'll pour, I remember what you did last week. <laughs> it's that big stone wheel that has like a stick coming out of it, and there's like a donkey who just hates life and is just, just swinging around in circles, just... Yeah, I made it around again. You know. I see now it's not glass, that's a coating. Or it's not ceramic, that's a coating on the okay. inside. So, uh, but this is uh, a mezcal from a fourth generation family in that area. So Okay. So they're, um, they're tried and true. Yeah, this has been around for a while. The uh, um, methods of doing it's been around for a while. They, they, they smoke all of their agave in like brick ovens and stone open fires. Or I don't know what. <laughs> They do something. It ain't made with no electricity machine work, though. That's wow. Drastically different. Wow. That is something. And this is unaged, right? I this forget. Is... I've only had a few mezcals, and I forget how this works. Yeah, so, and forgive us, we're definitely not experts on the tequila scene. We're yes, lo- I believe you can get this in an age statement bottle as well, or at least 
at and least a yeah, yeah, at least a broad spectrum of age, kind of like what they do with the tequilas, where it's aged for X amount to X amount. This is what they call a young or a hoven. Oh, is that right? I think so. A hoven mezcal, which means it's uh, aged very little to not at all. So I'm going to say probably less than two months, if anything. And I would say as clear as looks like gin, it's probably never been aged. I went straight to tasting, and it's delicious. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> on the ta- on the nose. On the nose, it's 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 nice and smoky. There's I don't even know if smoke smoke is the prominent smoke is the prominent nose on it, but there's something that jumps out in front of it because it doesn't smell like pure smoke. And you're like, wait, what was that? Well, it's like it's almost like a uh, like a Speyside Scotch. It's like a light smoke. It's not that big, rich, yeah, but it's the gum campfire. Okay, smell. what would you akin that smoke to if you was burning what? <clears throat> Pizza boxes? <laughs> Pizza boxes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, wet foliage. Yes. Really? Like, oh, this is going to sound terrible, as all descriptions that I ever give you do. <laughs> it's going, it reminds me if you had some very, maybe boxes, very wet, moldy boxes. How about a. Oh no! Go ahead. And you're burning the moldy boxes. Yeah. Okay. And no. you just and, and not, not that they've been on fire, but just when they very first start, yeah. and they just have that very fresh smoke flow. So it's still real light. It's not a heavy thing. It's leafy. But yeah, there's this weird yeah. smoke. It's nothing like peat. Nothing like peat. So that's why I'm trying to figure out a better way to describe it. But yeah, it's it's light. It's nice. I mean, cactus. I guess is a good way to describe it. It's so smooth. It's not harsh on any any level whatsoever. No, but I do notice that when you let it roll over your tongue, it hits them same um, the same area your tongue is like a, a, a lemon. Uh huh. So something sour, something citrusy, maybe it hits them same areas of tongue, right down the sides of it. Almost makes you pucker. It's not sour. It's just a. It's just it has that effect. Yeah, because there's a there's a light sweetness to it. It doesn't Ooh. have that pepperiness that most tequilas have. Hmm. There's like a... But there's that sweet, sweet... Almost like a donut glaze sweet. Like just bland sweetness that's just... It just covers everything, just coats it. Yeah. Nice and Yeah, beautiful. glaze. So, um, I can say, we're not big into tequilas. We are now. Mezcals <laughs> and, and that whole genre. Um, this is something we've just very recently started kind of checking out. So, well, this, um, this is a this is a, a liquor that has a long storied history, right? I mean, this this tequila has been around for a very long time, uh, but here in the states, especially, I, th- I would assume, you know, there's a big tradition of just like slamming back, you know, tequila shots with mm-hmm. uh, lime and salt, and you know, Guilty. just yeah, you know, and this is not. This is a totally different ball game. Yeah, this is not something you're going to want to shoot. And I dare say that I... I think I still like the, the Don Julio 1942 better. I know they're different things. I was going to say different it's just things, different. I mean, but, but this would be right up there with it in terms of uh, things that I like in that realm. Uh, this is going to run about 50 to 60 bucks, which puts it in a pretty nice price range. To, so to half to third of yeah. the Don Julio. Yeah. Okay. Um, Quite tasty. This is one that when I'd want it, I don't think you could replace it with anything else. Yep. But much like the way I like the big uh, stouts, I wouldn't want that much of it. A little bit of it goes a long way for me, and I think if I drink a lot of it, I'd probably be sick. <laughs> there's a, there's a there's a heavy sweetness that follows that there, that's just almost indescribable, and it is almost sugary. I would. Uh... This would be great in a cocktail. I, I love it. I'd say there'd be a badass drink mix that come with this, and if we could find something, we will get it back here and try it. Maybe saw some recommendations online. Did you somewhere? Maybe. I've never looked, but I'm interested. <laughs> now. So, uh, you got anything else to say about this wonderful, wonderful mezcal? Um, Colby, if you're watching, thank you. We appreciate it. We've still got more from him back here. Yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> we will get to him over the next. Uh, probably a couple months. We'll spread them out a little bit, but we're going to get to them. Um, 
there's a couple very fancy bottles back here that uh, when we empty, we could put flowers in, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, until next time. Whether it be the mezcal that you're making. <laughs> Food drinking, drinking. <laughs> drinking, not making. Food you're eating. Oh, I tripped him up. <laughs> Hincho in Mexico. Uh, the people you're meeting. <laughs> Clothes you're wearing. Grab, uh, grab, oh. Grab a buddy and try something new. <laughs>